Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Walk. Today is Friday, October 20th, and because today is Friday, I'm going to remind you there is no video tomorrow. I will be back with you on Sunday. Today, we are finishing Galatians 3, so that means we are in Galatians 3, verse 28 and 29, where it says, this is neither Jew nor Greek, I'm sorry, there is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is neither nor no male or female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you are Christ, then you are Abraham's offspring, heirs according to the promise. Now, this is such a beautiful summary for this chapter, because so much of this chapter is correcting a theology that was happening in Galatia, in which you were saved by your works, and you were righteous because of your works, because you were follow, following the law. Now, one of the undertones of that within the society is you can only follow the law and be righteous if you were raised as a Jew. The Gentiles are excluded. And in fact, one of the prayers that the Jewish people would pray every morning was to thank God that they were not a Gentile and to thank God that they were not a slave. And the Jewish men would even thank God that they weren't born female. And in this statement right here, Paul is wiping out all of those boundaries, all of those dividing lines, all of those things within their society that gave them the authority to look down on someone else. And Paul is saying, no, a believer is a believer is a believer. And you are all one in Christ. You are all brothers and sisters. You are all in this together. And because of that, you have unity within the church. Now, unfortunately, our human tendency tends to um, draw us away from remembering that unity and the purpose of that unity and make us start to make dividing lines. It is such a natural things, thing for groups of human beings to do to say that person's not part of our group, that person's not of our part of a group, that person's not a part of a group. Well, the only requirement to being a follower of Jesus Christ is putting your faith in Jesus Christ. If you have done that, they are a part of your group. In fact, they are a part of your family, and we need to make sure that we're treating them that way. We need to be very sure that we're um, careful about that. So all those lines between races, between nations, between politics, between... Um, <clears throat> Uh, whatever it is, those lines are gone and we are embracing each other as believers in Christ. Is it okay for me to have a difference of opinion? Absolutely. But they're still my family. They're still part of that body of Christ. When we say that we are all one in Christ, that is to say that we're not going to exclude Gentile Christians. We are not going to exclude the Jewish Christians that came from that Jewish background, what we've done is we've brought these two groups that have had so much animosity against each other and so much hatred, and we brought them into that unity. We brought them together so that now they can operate in a function of love and share that love of Jesus Christ with each other and with people that they interact with throughout their days. And he's repeating, and Paul repeats this, that Jesus is the Christ. He is capable to make, of um, leading us. He is the chosen one that is there to lead us. He was that perfect sacrifice for us on that cross, and he rose from the dead, conquering sin and death once and for all. And that's what all of us believe, and we need to embrace our Christian and brothers and sisters in that way. That is an essential part of following the leading of, Holy, of the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit show you those people that are overlooked and those people that are on the outside in, looking in and bring them in and love on them and care for them the way that God would call us to do that. Today is Friday, so I'm going to remind you there's no video tomorrow. I'll be back with you on Sunday. Have a wonderful day. God bless and keep walking the walk.